Uh, how do you go about, uh, like one of the troubles I have with, I think, day game also, well, in general, but now we're focusing on day game, is when, when I go to approach, I feel like I need this, this like perfect opener. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so let me talk to you. I know exactly what you're. So the thing about getting good with women in the beginning, getting to a place where you take action, you're going on dates, and everything is going well, is about developing a relationship with yourself. I think a lot of guys have a poor relationship with their emotions with how things feel in their body, how things work in their mind. For example, I can have a thought, negative. I can be with a girl and a negative thought come up in my mind, like, oh, maybe she's not going to fuck me. But I'm so good at not identifying with the thought, it just uh, it comes up and I just let it go like this and I don't care. And I just continue doing my thing, okay? And over time, because I learned how to do that, over time, I have less negative thoughts. And they are then replaced by positive thoughts. So let's talk about that. So when you feel anxiety or fear, what a lot of guys do is they try to run away from it. Either physically run away, like, oh, shit, I'm going to go. I'm not going to talk to her. I'm going to move away. Or they try to they start, you know, watching a lot of porn or, uh, you know, playing a lot of video games or going out less. Or There's always a reaction to that. But part of being a, a man or a developed human being is about, for example, when you feel fear, okay, it has like, or you feel anxiety, it has like a physical manifestation in the Maybe your hands start to sweat. Maybe you feel uh, your throat gets tight. Maybe you feel uh, in the chest area, there's like a little bit harder to breathe. Maybe your uh, heart starts to pump. What, what this means? It makes adrenaline. When you have adrenaline in your body, you, maybe your we neck, uh, your your sorry, knees feel more weak. It's harder to think when your heart is pumping. Like, it it makes adrenaline, and and when you have adrenaline, it's very hard to think. It's very hard to be rational. It's very hard to um. You go into another part of your brain, the reptilian part, fight or flight. So it's about I think developing a relationship to the fight or flight, to anxiety, to fear. And it's about learning how to, it's like a behavior therapy. It's about learning how to continue to live as a human being who's aligned to his own goals while these things happen. So what I started to do myself was I started to, back in the day, I used to spend I don't do this anymore, but I used to spend like 30 to 45 minutes every day meditating. And my meditation was like off the field, you know? And my meditation was, it wasn't about reaching a state of, 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 of bliss or something. It was about learning to observe my own thoughts and emotions. So I used to, for example, in the middle of the day or before I went out or early in the morning or whatever, when I had time, I used to observe the sensations in my body uh you know my uh i i took like every moment to to meditate if i was sad i would meditate on sadness if i was happy i would meditate on happy if i was um upset or angry i would watch the my face burning and my you know this this thing because i wanted to develop a relationship to all emotions and then I took that same theory to the field. So when I, for example, saw a girl, I taught myself how to... So for example, let's say I saw a girl and all of a sudden I felt the sense of anxiety. I took that as an opportunity. I didn't even care about having sex actually when I was a beginner. I cared about developing a relationship to approaching a relationship to fear a relationship to how i feel inside so for example a good example of this was and i do this a lot with clients i would for example uh, if i do a boot camp in person i take clients out and we, maybe we're in a nightclub because it's a good environment because people stay in the same place so 
maybe I, I see two girls in the in the in the corner and I say to my client, okay, do that approach, and he's like, oh my god, I feel fear, and I'm like, okay. Let's take a moment. These girls are not going anywhere because they're stuck in the room. No. Like, okay, let's take. What do you feel right now? And he's like, "Oh, my chest is uh, hot, uh, uh, tight. It's a, li a little bit difficult to breathe." And I'm like, "Okay, close your eyes and go into the feeling." Okay, and so the client closes his eyes. Okay, observe what you're feeling. What you're feeling is normal. Uh, once I, I hear myself, I don't know um, wh wh why. I can mute the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now it's good. It's gone. Okay, perfect, perfect. Because it was throwing me off a bit. Okay, so, um, so I would, uh, for example, oh no, it's, it's so quiet now. Okay, awesome. And so, I would be with the client, and the client would be there in the state of fear or panic or anxiety. And I would help him do something that uh, no, nobody did in his life. Recognize, it's called recognize his own feelings. Because it's like people, men want to experience happiness and neutral. And that's it. They, they're no, they don't want to feel anything else. Uh, you, uh, if they're sad, they have to watch porn. If they're uh, unhappy, they have to fucking do that. As soon as there's any feeling, they just want to escape immediately. And, and that's not a man, that's like a little bitch, you know? As soon as something happens, it's like, don't want to do anything or want to procrastinate or get lazy or uh, not drink more alcohol or something like that, you know? It's a bit crazy, but people don't talk about it. I don't know why. And so, so I would, for example, tell the client to like, okay, honor his feelings. Okay, what do you, so first of all, recognize your feelings. So what do you feel, okay? And then he would name five, six different things. I feel this, my, my chest is like this, da, da 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 And I would say, okay, go into it deeper. So that's the second step. So first step is recognize what you feel. The second step is, instead of running away, go into it deeper. Okay, so obs go take all your energy to go into the feeling. Okay, not just observe it, but, but, but go, try to observe it as deep as you can. Okay? So that was the second step. And the third step would be do the approach while you're observing your own feelings. And so this helped me a lot. So, for example, if I had fear or panic, and let's say the girl is over there in this direction, I would honor, oh shit, my heart, hands are shaking. Okay, my heart's like something like this. Da -da 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 -da. So I would first recognize it. Step two, um, I would observe it deeper. So I wouldn't... I would try to make myself defense, n defense, non-defensive. So let's say a good example, somebody's going to punch you. Okay, you just put your hands down. Okay, give me the punch. You know what I mean? So I would try to not uh, make drop my own resistance by relaxing myself. Right? Okay, I'm not going to fight what I'm feeling. And step three was to go and do the approach while I am not running away from what I'm feeling. So I would continue to observe it's like i would carry my fear with me to do the approach not try to fix it and to do the approach so i would carry my whatever feelings of unworthiness whatever it doesn't matter what it is same thing you know and i would carry it with me like i would like a friend like an extra person because a lot of guys were a lot of guys are like trying to be perfect and then do the approach i would do the approach no um being human I would allow myself be human and I would try to not hide it. So that would be the, the, the fourth step, not hide it. So, so not try to have a mask over it. So if I walked up to a girl and I was nervous or something, I'd be like, yo, like, that's me now. It's not going to be me in like 10 years, you know? So I'm like, let me enjoy the process of what the fuck's going on with me right now. So I would approach her being nervous. And I would not try to control my voice or anything. And I would just say the things that I wanted to say. Hey, you're beautiful. Or how's your day going? Or whatever. It doesn't matter. I, my, for me, because at the beginning, I thought about it smart. I'm like, if I take a year just to be comfortable around women, I'm going to fuck later. So I thought more like that. I thought like analytical. Okay, if I take six months to a year just to like work on my feelings and approach women, a thousand percent I'm going to fuck women for the rest of my life. And it, that's how it worked actually for me. So I took like the first six to seven. I didn't even get laid my first year. 
And then I got laid a lot my second year. So I actually, I had sex like at the end of my first year. So first year, I really took time to like work on this. My poor relationship. With myself and my friends and my. It's not, I, f I felt, I, I, I really, I don't know, I'm, 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 I would consider myself a smart person. I'm like, yo, every time I get afraid of something, I'm running away. That's like not normal. I don't know. If nobody taught me this in school. I'm like, I have to fix this, you know? It's not even about having sex, you know? Like if a girl likes you, you like her, like it's not difficult sex, you know? And it, so, so I, I even knew this as a virgin, you know? I'm like, I can figure it out later, but if I can't even talk to it, that's like something really weird, you know? And so... No. I tried to work on that. So, 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 so it was like a two type of practice. First, it was learning to do it at home. So I would every day take 20 minutes, 30 minutes and just observe anything that I'm feeling and just learn how to observe, you know, like the, it's like a bicycle to learn how to observe, da, 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 it gets better. But also I would go out every day, talk to three to five women. And if, when I saw a girl, for example, with her mom or something, because as you go out, the, the situation changes. Maybe if at first it's difficult just to talk to one girl. But then you do it for like four months. Then you're like, alright, uh, let's do something new. Groups of girls. Oh my. Okay, then you got to do the process again. And then maybe you get comfortable with groups. And then, oh my god, a girl walking down the street with her mom. Ooh, I'm so scared. Okay, so, uh, uh, oh, and then maybe you start nightclubs. Oh my god, just being in a nightclub is uncomfortable. So I never judged myself. If something made me feel uncomfortable, goal was to work on it and to reach my first goal was actually not to have sex my first goal was to be comfortable in every situation no matter what happened if i see a girl in a restaurant i should be comfortable if i see a girl like i just was like wanting to become a guy who was unfazed my rationale was if i become unfazed i will always have sex i don't know it just made sense to me if i can become a confident guy start conversations with women and like figure out stuff i will always have sex i will always have girlfriends like it just made sense to me even when i was a virgin you know because i'm like there's no way you can be confident and cool interesting and not have sex it just didn't make made sense to me you know and so i'm like oh i just have to become confident cool and 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 it's not by doing things because as later i found out as well i met a lot of guys who are confident and still have approach anxiety i don't have like approach anxiety or sometimes maybe very little because I spent years working on developing a relationship with this feeling, with this, um, with 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 how, uh, like for example, uh, women, the, the situations that triggered you triggers you. I, I developed a, a relationship working with being triggered. Being, I'm not saying I don't get angry and stuff. I get pissed off all the time. But for me, it's okay to be angry and express it or frustrated or say, fuck this shit or whatever, you know? These are natural. Uh, if I'm hanging out with a girl a couple times and I'm frustrated, it means something. It means like maybe we're not right for each other or whatever. Then fuck this bitch. And I just say, uh, go meet somebody else, you know? So I, uh, I always was pissed off at myself for not listening to me, not following these feelings or not trying to like figure it out. So I guess, I don't know, does that help? Yeah, and do you sometimes verbalize like your feelings to the when you approach? Like, I think I did it in the beginning, but I quickly did not need to do. It. So, for example, maybe the first girls I was, oh my god, I'm so nervous. I was so nervous coming up, uh, talking to you, blah blah blah, you know. But after doing that for like five days, <laughs> I didn't feel like the need yeah. to do it anymore. You know what I mean? So yeah, like in the beginning, you want to just do whatever it helps. Like you want, like, so here's the thing. When you meet a woman, she's not the perfect human being. Uh, she has fears, anxieties, uh, problems in her life. Uh, uh, she's done fucked up shit. Uh, maybe she's cheated. Maybe she's lied. Maybe she's uh, all sorts of things. So you're meeting this. So it's, it's weird. Guys want to be superhuman and meet girls who are just human. You know what I mean? So, yeah. so, so y you can be... Even women don't want. I think women want to meet a guy who's human, who can uh, handle himself in bad times, good times, whatever. Like, that's not superhuman. That's being human. 